CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. A pretty nice evening out there on a Friday night. Here's our Biscayne Bay camera. Everything's all nice and lit up. That's the way we like it at night. 79 in Miami, 78 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 83 in Key West. Sticking the scales up there. It's a 7 tonight, making it feel like 82. A north-northwest wind at 10 and no rain at MIA, but we had some big thunderstorms go up over the Everglades. If you had to go across Alligator Alley this evening, it was rough. There were some big storms sitting there for a while, but they collapsed and sent out this outflow boundary. You can see this line go right out there, and that has since triggered a few little showers, mainly in Broward right now. It's mostly light rain showers here or there. We'll see that off and on tonight and then tomorrow. Unfortunately, the stage is set for more widespread and heavier storms. 90 is the normal. We were there everywhere today or right around there tomorrow because of the clouds and the storms. Temperatures are going to fall back a little bit. Current feels like temperatures are mainly in the 70s and 80s. The one good thing about that outflow boundary that swept on down is that it dropped temperatures a bit. The moisture is already in place for heavy downpours and it's moved on in tonight and going to stick around for tomorrow as well. So it would be a weekend washout possibly except Except on Sunday, the breeze is forecast to pick up and push the moisture on west. So the best chance for thunderstorms on Sunday on the west coast. I think we're looking pretty good here on the east coast on Sunday after tomorrow's storms. And then on Monday, likewise looking pretty nice. But then moisture increases again. By the time we get to Tuesday, another batch of moisture coming in. There's kind of a big upper level low that's uh, pushing by. And we're going to be on one side of it for Saturday and the other side of it for Tuesday. Other than that, uh, in between, it's looking pretty good. Where's the end of Elsa? Post tropical now, zipping on to the northeast. The last advisory was written this afternoon at 5 o'clock. And the Gulf, the Caribbean, and the Atlantic, nice and quiet. There is uh, what we call a suppressive phase uh, in the Atlantic right now. It's kind of holding things down. That's going to last for an, at least another week or so. Then after that, by the time we get to August, we'll have to watch more closely for any development out there. In the meantime, though, we are watching dust. There was some dust over Cuba today, a little bit of haze here in South Florida, and another big kind of plume of dust working its way across. There we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Probably Wednesday will get kind of dusty here. Here's our forecast for tonight. It's looking pretty good. A few showers around, warm and humid, summertime weather, a, high, a low temperature in the upper 70s. Tomorrow, we'll look for a little bit of sun, but then storms develop and some could be heavy. High temperature near 88 degrees. On the water winds, southeast 10 to 15, seas running about two feet. Light shop on the bays and taking us through the weekend. After a stormy Saturday, Sunday is looking better. Next week, kind of a mix of everything. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.